welcome back to my film and TV channel. Hope you're all staying safe and well. And we're going over to Amazon today for one of their original movies. Uh, with a very popular lady in it. Well, certainly one of my favourites as far as... Yeah, she's not a bad singer. I don't think she's a bad actor. I quite enjoy watching the films normally. And some good rom-coms. And we've got an action rom romantic comedy today. We're going to look at something called Shotgun Wedding. Please, if you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button. Push the bell notifications all film reviews, TV drama reviews, uh, quizzes, uh, information vlogs, lots of different things on here. So if you can jump on board and spread the word, it'd be much appreciative. If you're pushing buttons, already push, or I've already pushed the button, push that other little button as well, that little like button if you can. I'm trying to get between 10 and 15 likes for these vlogs uh, for the film and TV channel. So if you give us a like, a thumbs up, make an old film and TV watcher very happy. Yes, yeah, Shotgun Wedding. 101 minutes, a 15 certificate, a uh, bit of violence in it, a bit of blood, a bit of, uh, not too gory, but a bit of blood anyway. As I said, a romantic action comedy directed by Jason Moore and written by Mark Hammer. And before I tell you who's in it, if you don't know, which you probably will if you looked at the thumbnail, Rotten Tomatoes audience, the audience quite like it, 65% based on the overall score of 3.5 out of 5. Internet movie database, Joe Public, uh, not quite as good. 5.6 out of 10, so just a little bit below that 6 out of 10 I like to see on these things. But that's on over 4,000 scores, so not a disaster. And it was 61% uh, positivity, so if those guys, quest those guys who left scores and reviews, 61% were happy with the film. Uh, was I happy with the film? Well, yeah, okay, what's, what's the word in there? Something like that. Anyway, a little bit more of that in a moment. This was released on the 27th of January 2023. I'm recording this on the 28th of January 2023. So any comments and those scores are always at that date. Of course, it's uh, released by Amazon Studios on their Prime Video channel, which is is always nice. Uh, we don't, I, I don't think we get enough from Amazon. In fairness, for our for our however much we pay a month, some people pay a bit less than others. But uh, hey, that's just a personal thing. And as I say, I'm not I'm not Amazon as an organisation's biggest fan, but of course, I'm a great film and TV watcher. So like it and lump it, Bernard. That's what they say. What's it about? Well, it's about Darcy played by the wonderful Jennifer Lopez and Tom played by Josh Duhamel. Uh, oh, he's lovely as well, but, you know. <laughs> Gather their lovable but very opinionated families for the ultimate destination wedding. Just as a couple begins to get cold feet, and if that wasn't enough of a threat to the celebration, suddenly everyone's lives are in danger when the entire party's taken hostage. Till Devil's Do Part takes a whole new meaning in this hilarious, their words not mine, adrenaline fueled adventure as Darcy and Tom will say their loved ones if they don't kill each other first. I like that. I like that little tagline. That's okay. This also stars a multitude of cast, but Sonia Braga, Jennifer Coolidge, very popular at the moment, Lenny Kravitz, Cheech, yeah, Cheech, Cheech Moran, and many, many more. Ron Tomatoes, Christie. What about their critics? Well, the, the public are okay, uh, middling to okay, but the critics, not quite. 46% of the 71 critics are positive on Ron Tomatoes, so that's less than half. 33 fresh, but 38 rotten, so slightly in the negative there, and it averages 5.3 out of 10. The consensus shotgun wedding may be just the invitation to escapism that rom com fans and J Lo completists are looking for, but most other viewers can safely RSVP no without regrets. Bless Tim Roby from the Daily Telegraph in the UK. He was fresh on it, but uh, not the not the most gushing review. He said the film is mutinously bored with weddings, which is a start, and has a punchy aerial climax at much better value than the average first dance in a sickly sweet genre. It's almost bracingly sour. Yeah, I think I think that's a positive. It is, yes. Yeah, I was say sickly sweet genre. Yeah, I suppose it is. There's a darkness to this that doesn't quite work. There's a dark element with this, and it's I say it's a dark element played for comedy. But I think we, they could have done it just a little bit darker. That would have made more an effect on me anyway. Sophie Butcher from Empire, Empire Magazine said a rom com revelation. This ain't, but it's an entertaining vehicle for the ever charismatic Jennifer Lopez. And frankly, that's enough. It probably is for Jennifer Lopez fans. Of course, it is. Some, some of us like to see a little bit of a decent film as well. Guy Lodge from Variety said neither Moore's direction nor Mark Hammer's script lean enough into the absurdity of the situation. 
for the film to take flight. Again, I'd have to agree with Guy there. Uh, they've got all the guys there. They've got all the sets there. They've got all the crews there. And the script doesn't quite work, unfortunately. Not for me, anyway. Metacritic, the other critic site we'll look at, uh, they give it 47 out of 100, so very similar based on 27 critics, and it scored anywhere between 25 out of 100 and 67, which was the highest out of 100. Four positive, 18 mixed, yeah, I'm, I'm mixed, I'm mixed on this, and five negative. Slap Magazine's Pat Brown only gave it 38. She said, the film has a rather perfunctory feel, as if it were unwilling to go ill, all in on its ludicrous concept. That's what I said. It just just had everything there to set this up, but just let down by it by poor poor writing, I suppose. Poor script. The AV Club's Courtney Howard gave it sixty seven. Much more uh, impressed with it out of a hundred. Although the madcap antics come up short in some areas, and it's unable to strike a good balance between its main and supporting players. I agree with that as well. You'll find it easy to say I do to this one, or, or perhaps I do. Sort of. So my thoughts, guys, before we go very quickly, I'm going to score this a very bang, bang in the middle average. My minimum score for anything that I do a review on, if it, if it gets less than this, I just don't mark it. I don't want to embarrass uh, uh, the film or myself by giving it a lower mark. So I'm going to give this the bare minimum 5 out of 10, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Jennifer Lopez may be enough for many, she is. And as a red-blooded male, perhaps we, uh, she's sort of enough for me in this as well. Yeah, we see more of her in this than, than is the norm, so I'm certainly not complaining on that score. Sadly, though, the film doesn't really work as a whole thing. The comedy never really hits home. The action is not overly spectacular. There's just a couple of good set sets, a couple of good scenes, but it doesn't, doesn't really hit home on a regular basis. And the corny bits uh, are more cringy than smile-inducing, unfortunately. As I said, I probably did smile two or three times at some of the attempted humour. It sort of worked, but it, I mean, an hour and 40 minutes is just not enough. <laughs> just not enough to uh, write home about, as we say. There's no doubt that the casting crew in the Dominican Republic, which is where it was filmed, uh, had a much better time than we, the audience, did. Well, most of us did, as I said. J-Lo fans might be more impressed than others, but, but even they, like me, perhaps want a little bit more as well. Lovely location, lovely Jennifer, but a very average action rom-com. There's certainly a lot better out there. Let me know what you're thinking, guys. Let me know what you thought. It'd be great to hear from you. Thanks for watching, please. Until we meet again, that's one thing, don't we? Please stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.